been an on again, off again member of the Lincoln lineup on this edition of Test Drive The Continental. While the Lincoln Continental has been around since the late 30s, there have been a few breaks in production along the way. This and a slew of forgettable cars saw it go from an icon and one of the last American cars to have a V12 engine to an also-ran. The latest Continental is designed to put the shine back on its Apple. The styling is crisp, if formal, and there's a raft of technologies aimed at making the driver's life as easy as possible. The blend brings a new breed of Lincoln. Now the cabin of this Continental really is very luxurious. There are two things that stand out in particular. These two front seats, they have 30 adjustments. Yes, you heard that right, 30 different adjustments and a full-on massage function. Now the other thing that struck me, if you happen to be a knob and dial kind of guy, this is not your car. Everything from selecting a gear to opening the door is done with a button. The reserve arrives with a 3-litre twin-turbo V6 that gives the driver access to 400 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque at 2750 RPM. It works with a 6-speed automatic transmission to drive all four wheels. While the transmission may be lacking a couple of gears when compared to its rival, this does not affect its performance. It shifts smoothly, it's quick to kick down, and it brings quiet highway cruising. As powertrains go, this is a good one. Now, the times delivered by this rather formal-looking sedan come from left field. This thing will get you to 100k in 5.7 seconds, and it does the more important 80 to 120 passing move in 3.7 seconds, both of which are very good times. The Continental's all-wheel drive system normally powers the front wheels, but monitors road conditions, wheel speed, throttle position and steering angle to send the power rearward whenever it's needed. Helping to maintain optimal cornering control is dynamic torque vectoring. It sends up to 70% of the power to the rear wheels and then uses a pair of electronic clutches to direct up to 100% of the drive to the outside rear wheel. This turns the car in with more precision and reduces understeer. It worked very well. Now, if you do get relegated to the back seat, there's really not much to worry about. This thing has got limo-like legroom, there's reasonable headroom, and as for the rest of it, heated and cooled rear seats, and of course, that massage function I raved about up front. You've got it back here and it works just as well. The Continental's fully adaptive suspension allows the driver to hone the handling through the Lincoln Drive control. It gives the driver a choice of comfort, normal and sport modes. Each adapts the steering and suspension to suit. Comfort is a little too comfortable, normal is the best for everyday driving. Use sport mode when a pylon test beckons. It hunkers things down very nicely. The adaptive steering is equally polished, as it delivers sharp responses and the right weight. You know, there's a huge difference between perception and reality, and this Lincoln is a classic case. The perception is it belongs to an old fogey. The reality is this thing is very fast, it handles as well as any self-respecting sports sedan, and it's luxurious. In other words, it's a player. <laughs> <laughs>